Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 90. Inside this video, we will see the concept that is how to work with multiple route files. Inside last video, we had discussed the concept of route prefixes. Inside that video, we have taken an example that is, let's suppose we have several different different modules inside a Laravel project. The module has customer, user, product and a blog. Inside each module, we have different different routes. And inside each route, we have added a prefix. This prefix is nothing, it's a module name. It means all these routes belongs to customer module, all these routes belongs to user module. Now if I back to editor, this is the file called web.php. It means main configuration file for web application. Now inside this file, if I scroll down, these are the routes what we had created inside last video for customer module. These are the routes for product module. Just think for a second, let's say we have 10 or 20 modules inside this application. So when we configure or write all the routes inside this single file called web.php then this file is going to be not manageable. We will not be able to manage all the routes inside this single file. So what is the solution? Solution is that why not actually we will make a different different route file according to module wise. What I mean? Simply as we know that these all routes belongs to customer module or customer prefix. So we need to create a route file called customer.php inside this routes folder. We want all the routes for this product. We'll create product.php inside this routes folder. And we will cut all this code and paste inside that associated file. Let's see all these things in action. So what I will do, firstly we need to separate all the routes for this customer. So let's create a file called customer.php and inside this file let's create a PHP tag. Go inside this web.php. I will copy this first line pasting it here. Go inside this main file called web.php. I will cut all the routes of this customer module and paste inside this customer.php. Now it is manageable. As we know that all these routes of this customer has a different file called customer.php. Now if we want to find the routes of customer, simply go inside this routes folder. Here we have a file called customer.php. It means all customer routes will go inside this file. Now let's create one more file something product php go inside this web.php got all the routes save this file go inside this product.php let's create a php tag and paste all the routes of product module as you can see that we have a error this error will be removed while importing this route facade so simply i will copy go and paste it here now the error has been removed. Now the next thing, the first thing we have completed all about separating all the routes according to different different route files inside this routes folder. Now when we go into the browser and when we type any of the route from all these files, let's say that we are going to call product list hyphen products. So copy, go here, let's say product list hyphen products. Now as we can see that we are getting 404 not found. It means application is not able to listen this request from this product.php because by default it will listen all the routes what will configure inside this web.php. So how can we configure these routes file? So for that go inside this app providers and inside this we have route service provider.php. Now inside this file, here we have a boot method. We need to configure 
these two files inside this boot method. As we can see that inside this boot method, already we have api.php, what we have inside this routes folder api.php and the next we have web.php. Now we need to configure product.php and customer.php inside this boot method. So what I will do, simply I will copy, pasting it here, pasting it here. Now two groups we have created and inside this first group, let's add a comment. This is, let's say, we are going to add product.php and for this group, we will add, let's say, customer.php. So instead of using web.php, I will write product.php, copy this and pasting it here. All we have done. Base path, it's a helper function of Laravel. Now when we click into this function, as we can see that it is coming from helpers.php. Look at the path of that. It will be inside vendor folder, Laravel, Framework, SRC, Eliminate, Foundation and helpers.php. This is the path of this file and inside this file we have this function. In the last video, where we had discussed all about helpers, so helpers are those files. Inside that file, we will create standalone functions. Back to route service provider. So simply, we have attached our route file called product.php, customer.php inside this boot method. Now when we go and reload this page, as we can see that our route is working. And the most important thing that we have removed all unnecessary routes from this web.php. Now the application is manageable. If we want to add more routes inside customer module, product module, simply we need to open that respective file, work on that, save and close that file. If you go inside this route service provider, so by default, the middleware used as web here. If suppose for this product module, for this, let's say for our customer module, if suppose we have some different middleware, also we can place here. If we don't want to use this web middleware inside that, what I will do, simply remove that. After removing this middleware method, save this change. We don't want this middleware also inside this customer.php, save these changes, go and reload this page. And as we can see that our application is still working. So this is for the product module. Now when we want to use our customer routes, go inside that, copy this customer prefix, go here, typing it here and let's say that list hyphen customers and this is welcome to list customers page. So right now we have used only the closer block. When we want to render any of the view file, simply we need to create inside resources folder and return by using view helper function. How can we do? Go inside this resources, views folder. Let's create a file something let's say list hyphen customers.php. Now next. If I copy this message or simply copy this h2 element, go and paste here and instead of echo, let's return view and I will return let's say list hyphen customers and this is not actually exact file, this is something list hyphen customers dot dot php. So back to views folder, go here, click on rename we need to add our bleed.php this is the extension of bleed templating engine so save this file go here and reload this page now this time this message is coming from this view file now let's say that welcome to list customers page one go and reload and as we can see that the message has been changed the main focus is not for this view file 
The main concept and focus is only that how can we differentiate different different routes inside different different route files. So successfully, by the help of this concept, we can create multiple route files and attach inside a single Laravel application. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.